Well, spring break is just around the corner. Soon you'll be packing up the kids and heading out of town. And to ensure your trails are happy, Brooke and Ellen went shopping for easy packing solutions. Traveling can be a nightmare, what with trying to get through security. So Ellen and I are at Storables to help you make that a lot smoother. Yes, being organized is really going to count these days because with the safety regulations, you've got to get through those lines quickly and you've got to have the right equipment to do it with. Mm -hmm. So let's remember the first rule is 311. No more than three ounce bottles, and that's this size right here. All these are three ounces. Okay. One Ziploc, one quart maximum per person. Okay. And the other one is one per person, so it's three one one. Let's talk about this little bag here. What's great about this is that you can put all of your shampoo, lotions, whatever you carry normally, and this is approved to go through TSA. And I also have labeled all mine, so you can even buy the labels according to what you have and put them right on the bottles. Brooke, you like these because they had colors. I do. Well, the reason why I like these is because then maybe this is your conditioner and this is your shampoo. If you don't have the labels, then you know what's in here. And this fun little thing? If you buy in bulk like we do, then you can just fill up from your big bottles into your little bottles when you're ready to go on your trip. So make sure you have something to fill the bottles with so you're not spilling all over your <laughs> counters. Right. Other thing is when you're packing, you want to make sure that you have appropriate items so you can see everything that you need to pack. So this, this one is for jewelry. Okay. Um, this one here you can use for anything. You can use for small items. You can use for nylons, you can use for gloves, hats, accessories, underwear, but you want to have things like this that are just easy to pack up and then when you get to your hotel you can hang. Very nice. So you're not looking for a lot of little things as you travel. Again, it's about organization and making things easier as you go. And tell me about this bag here. Well, since I don't use a curling iron, <laughs> I think this is a curling iron bag. Yes, or a straightener. <laughs> And so when you're done with the straightener and it's still warm, you put it in here? Yes, you can use this even when your straightener or your curling iron is hot. I love that so idea. We're, we're getting all savvy now. <laughs> so then don't forget that you also need to have things that you're going to pack and take on with you. So if we're going to go and we're going to use our luggage and we're going to only carry on, uh -huh. you want to make sure that this is accessible because they're going to make you take this out and put it on to go through the machine. Okay. So I always put mine on the very outside pouch. So when I'm taking off my shoes, taking off my jewelry, I can just put that right on the conveyor belt and it'll go through and you're not digging through your suitcase. You wanna pack things in cubes if you possibly can inside your suitcase because if you do get stopped, they won't make a mess of your suitcase. Everything will be organized and you can get it quickly back into your suitcase and get on your way and on your trip. And then I would imagine it would keep everything organized on the inside and then easy to unpack on the way home. Exactly. It's all about containerizing within your suitcase. And finally, don't forget your carry-on bag. Your carry-on bag is just as important. This, I love this kit. This is great. So it has all the things to keep you comfortable on a long flight. And the reason that Brooke like this is because the neck pillow blows up and then you can deflate it so it doesn't take a lot of room. Exactly, because I'm always carrying that along with my carry-on, along with my purse. So if I had an inflatable one that I could put in my carry-on, that would be ideal. So you can put that right into your bag. You also want to make sure that you have something to hold your documents, your passport, your itinerary. This fits easily in your carry-on bag. Don't forget a pair of extra underwear or toothbrush because if you do check your bag and get lost, at least when you get to your destination, you'll have about 24 hours of something in your bag that you can use. And if you are bringing a water bottle on board, make sure it's empty because they will make you throw it away. Liquids aren't allowed through. Fill it up after you've gone through security and then you'll have something to drink on the flight. Perfect. Hopefully making your travels a lot smoother. Thanks, Ellen. <laughs> Back to you guys. And one more tip, be sure you wear comfortable clothes and remember those shoes that are easy to slip on and off. This has been Better.TV. For more stories like the one you just saw, catch the weekday television program Better, your source for styles, trends, relationships, beauty, fitness, and other stories that will help make your day better. Check local TV listings to see if Better airs in your city. Thanks for watching.